Hey everyone, this is Joe Workman, and I just want to really quickly review some really cool updates that I just added to PageSafe version 1.2. So here I have a page, and we see that we have this please log in. And this content is a part of a new stack that ships with PageSafe called StackSafe. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and click this login button in my menu. And what we'll notice is that takes us to a PageSafe login. And the first thing we'll notice is that we can actually do more than four digits now. With the release of iOS 9 coming, it now will have six digit pins. So I decided to add the feature of being able to do four to seven digits for your pin. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter in my pin number. And what we'll notice is, instead of logging me in directly, it actually redirected me back to my original page. And if we notice, my original page now looks a little bit different. I now have a different content that says you are logged in and we have a logout button. So this is exactly what Stacks Safe does for us. It allows us to display content when we're logged in and different content if we're not logged in. And it's really simple to do. We'll see here's my Stack Safe. And in the settings, all you need to do is enter in the page safe ID that is tied to the login that we're going to authenticate against. And then go ahead and add your content. The top content will be the content that is displayed when you're logged in, and the bottom content will be displayed if you're not logged in. So that's page safe 1.2, everybody. I hope that you enjoy it. Um, you can do a lot of really powerful things with this now. It allows you to really display content based on if the user's logged in. Uh, I'm excited to see what you build with it. I hope you enjoy it. Thanks, everybody. Bye.